Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Hey, Tip Kiri Mike here, playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. First off, I just want to thank anyone that's watching this video right now. It's my first video, so I really appreciate anyone checking it out. Um, also wanted to say that uh, I really think that this is actually a really great, great game. Like, it really seems to be well polished. Like, it looks really nice. They've put a lot of detail in the interiors. Um, a lot of detail on the trails, like the, the trucking routes and stuff like that. Uh, I guess, like, you know, the only thing I could say to maybe increase realism would be adding damage to the vehicles. Like, I don't know, where... If you drive over a car, if it ends up flipping itself back over, it can't just drive away. <laughs> that, that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, uh, so in regards to my setup, um, I have the Logitech GT racing wheel that I'm using for this. So I do have like a, a bit of a shifter. I don't have a clutch or anything like that. So I have it set up with the sequential sh shifter. I've tried the automatic gearbox, but I don't really like it. Um, I, I kind of prefer using, like, the shifter. It'd be nice if I had a clutch. That would, you know, add quite a bit of realism, but I don't. <laughs> and I don't have, like, whatever, $300, $400 to spend on that wheel. Um, so a little bit about myself. Uh, I've been a gamer all my life. Uh, when I was five, I think it was, uh, me and my brother, we ended up getting an Atari 2600 for Christmas. And yeah, so that kind of started me down the gamer path. Um, I remember playing games like Defender and Missile Command, Joust, uh, and uh, Asteroids. Asteroids in particular, because I remember at one point, I actually did, you know, wrap the game as it were. Um, you know, from the Atari, we eventually upgraded to the Nintendo, um, you know, and I remember playing Final Fantasy 1 was kind of my big game from that, because, I mean, it was just so epic compared to any other game at the time. Like, like, it, it really felt quite a bit more epic. Um, you know, from there in my teenage years, I ended up with a summer job being able to buy my own, uh, Super Nintendo and, uh, Final Fantasy three at the same time or six, if you're in the know and yeah, that, uh, that was a pretty good experience. I eventually picked up Chrono Trigger you know, uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past was pretty much the first Zelda game that I played. And I know that's pretty horrible considering at what level I started gaming at, but I just never got it for the, the Nintendo, the original. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, from there, I uh, was able to get an N64. Um, you know, that was a pretty cool system. Uh, but, you know, as soon as I found out that Final Fantasy VII was on the PlayStation, I, I picked up that. You know, that was my my driving factor at that point, was where Final Fantasy was. Um, although, at the Final Fantasy VII was pretty much the last Final Fantasy I played. Because nothing, nothing really piqued my interest after that. It, it just kind of got boring. Um... From there, I ended up getting into some PC gaming, um, you know, doing the whole LAN party thing with friends, and, oh, geez, that was a blast, <laughs> you know, just playing all weekend, yeah, it was, it was pretty fun, not a lot of sleep, but it was pretty fun, <laughs> um, you know, and, and from there, like, you know, after a few years, you kind of feel the strain from having to keep up with the technology. It just, it's just so expensive. 
but uh, you know, so gaming on PC kind of died at that point for me. Um, and uh, I did pick up the 360, and that was kind of fun. Actually, you know, a lot of hours dumped into the 360. Um, and, you know, I did get a PlayStation 3 as well. And not so much for the gaming as for, like, the high-definition movies. That was kind of, I guess, the driving goal there. Or driving factor. Um... You know, uh, currently on the system that I have right now, I wouldn't call it anywhere it's near top of the line. Um, I have a pretty old processor, uh, like the AMD 955 Black Edition. Uh, it's not overclocked at this point. Uh, it just... The cooler I have doesn't really... doesn't really support it for overclocking. Um... You know, only four gigs of RAM, which, you know, probably not too bad, but could use a little bit more if I'm going to actually be doing recording and editing, stuff like that. Um, although I did splurge on my graphics card at the time, being a GTX 580, that, you know, that was pretty much the most expensive part of my, my whole setup. Um... So, I mean, if I can get a little bit more money on the go, I I'm, know I'm, I'm definitely in the market to, to pick up new computer parts. But, uh, yeah, that's me. So with that, let's get this party started. So I'm just kind of on the starting mission and it looks like I need to change that. Acceleration. Um, that makes more sense. Okay. Take two for getting this party started. So, I'm really going to try to make sure that I don't have a whole lot of dead air, as I feel like that is going to be something that could happen quite a bit. Um, I'm actually kind of a shy person, and I don't really talk a whole lot unless I get onto a topic that really interests me, and then I just annoy everyone. <laughs> Because I will not shut up. <laughs> I didn't end up blinding my keys for my turn signals. So I'll have to do that off camera later on. As this run is just going to be the starting run here. I'm not really planning on, on doing th anything else here. So approaching the speed limit of 50. So I started out in uh, Frankfurter because it seems to be a pretty good starting point. Like it's in the middle. <laughs> and I think this will give me more options uh, for trucking routes or jobs. Um, Currently, I don't have my own truck, although that should be remedied rather quickly. Just switching over the GPS. Hey, I discovered a recruitment agency. So once I end up being able to afford my own truck, I will be able to... Oh, I think I missed my turn. I guess that's fine though. I'll turn over here. I really wish the field of view was increased here quite a bit. It would be nice to 
have more of the truck visible, like more of the front window. And I don't know, this kind of looks like a dead end. I suppose I should choose a lane here as well. But we'll see what happens when I try to turn right up here. I apparently can't turn right up here. Maybe I'll, I'll make a stop over here at these rest areas and I'll backtrack. But yeah, you can see my dilemma. I want to see the mirrors on my left hand side, but I also kind of want to see the traffic light. You know, tell me when I can go and whatnot. All right, so I'm thinking maybe the, is that the garage? How oh, this works out. Discover a dealership, I hope. Or is it actually a garage? Oh. That's probably not good. Okie dokie, I'm backing up already. How awesome is this? Okay, let's see how tight of a turn I can get here. Oh, that worked out. probably should have went there, but alas, I didn't. So I think once I finish this route, that's actually going to be my headquarters. Pretty sure that that'll end up being my headquarters. All right, so I want to make a turn here. Let's actually follow the GPS this time. Might as well get a little bit of fail over and done with in the first video, I suppose. But yeah. speed uh, switch over to this lane once again I still don't have my signal lights or my turn signals bound to any key god it's so annoying Okay, so we're just about at the destination. Not that it was a long way away. Um, so that means we're also almost at the end of the video, although I am going to park it. Because you do get an XP bonus for doing it. And at this point, I can use all the bonus I can get. Reversing, let's get my head out the window. All right. Okay, let's just 
Jesus in here. Number two. Um, that's that. All right, everyone. My first delivery is complete. Get a little bit of experience. Yeah, <laughs> nine experience for the base, 45 for the parking. Um, your first time around, yeah, park it. <laughs> first couple of times around, park it. Because the majority of your XP, or a good chunk of your XP, is just going to come from the bonus for parking. And you have to get, you know, up to level one before the bank will offer you a loan. Um, once the bank offers you a loan, you'll be able to buy your first truck, uh, and then you can really start taking in some money. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I didn't get a whole lot of money for that, but I do have a fair amount of go. A couple, couple more really short trips like that, or if I can like get myself a longer one, uh, that'll help me get to level one, get my first truck. So yeah, um, once again, just wanted to thank everyone for taking the time to check out this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, you know, hey, if you actually did enjoy it, you know, like and favorite. And I will see you hopefully in the near future.